Hi everybody, this is Oleg. Welcome to Work and Preparedness. Today is Friday, so it is FFTF time, Food for Thought Friday. And in today's video, I want to do some more thinking. As I mentioned before, I personally like and do think a lot about apocalypse and survival and end of the world type of stuff. And you know, some people think it's a bit much, but I I like it because it's number one, it's something that may save your life one day. Number two, I just like the I just like the topic, so so I do. And uh, I want to ask you to also think, stop and think and rethink what I'm going to talk about in this video. So I was thinking. I'm still thinking a lot about bugging out and if you're a proper minded I'm sure you have too also if you're proper minded you're probably having some bug out location in mind for yourself and with all the events that have been happening lately I've been thinking this maybe your bug out location is not the best option anymore maybe you need to look at it and think double take a take another look and make sure it's exactly where you want to be when crap will severely hit the fan right now you know it has hit it's still hitting with all the riots and all the scrap but it's still it's still okay, you know, we still are not really forced out of our homes, out of our apartments to go somewhere and just try to survive somewhere else. However, that can change also. You know, six months ago, no one would have thought that coronavirus would come to pass. Nobody would thought that all this, all this rioting would be taking place yet it is here and worse in my opinion is yet to come and i'm pretty sure it's coming too unfortunately i sure would like it to get back to normal at least back to where it was six months ago i kind of doubt it will if it would stay as it is right now it wouldn't be the worst situation but i think it will get worse therefore we need to be ready for it we need to we need to know we need, we need to have a plan we need to have a backup plan plan a plan plan b and if possible plan c so um i was thinking before i'll use myself as an, as an example as i always do i used to think about one of my possibilities where i would like to bug out too since i live in oregon this is not too far away, but I like the idea of bugging out to Vancouver Island in Canada. It takes about it takes about um, three four hours to get to Port Angeles from Portland, and then you take a ferry for about 40 45 minutes, and you are in Victoria, Canada. You're in on Vancouver Island, and Vancouver Island is an awesome place. It's about give or take 300 miles long 60 to 80 miles wide full of resources full of lakes rivers full of fish woods you know for your energy for your heating for your uh, firewood supplies it's just great full of animals full of it and not a lot of people live there i believe if i'm not mistaken in that giant island only about seven or eight hundred thousand people live which is awesome that's exactly what you want to have scenario where you have you know area of 60 by 300 miles with seven hundred thousand people you know that's to me that's really good and also it's not in the middle of the desert it's it's uh area with all sorts of all sorts of resources so anyway i was thinking and i was always uh, have kept that in mind 
And then, with all these problems, I started to think, you know, it's a great area to get to. But number one, if crap starts to hit the fan really hard, maybe they would tighten the borders. And maybe you couldn't take a ferry across those big waterways that are around Olympic Peninsula and around and around the uh, Seattle area onto Vancouver Island. Maybe you could have your own boat, you know, take your boat over there. Yes, that's possible. But then what if Coast Guard would stop you somewhere along the way? And of course, you don't know what situation may be. Maybe the situation will change and will be no Coast Guard. Maybe no one there will be less of them. Maybe they'll be busy with riots. Maybe they will be busy who was who knows what. Uh, there's all kinds of possibilities, but I was thinking, uh, you know, having your own boat, of course, is a plus because, you know, you could possibly pass by Coast Guard. It's not that far away. It takes about 40, 45 minutes by ferry. So with your boat, probably half the time. So you could probably get through maybe with night vision at night without any lights without being noticed possibly and uh, but what if you can't what if coast guard stops you turns you around what's your plan b and i just after thinking about it for a long time i kind of scratched that idea because i think it's better to have bug out place somewhere somewhat locally you know vancouver island still is awesome idea in my opinion if you can get there if you can get there but realistically i think i'm better off just uh, staying right here in oregon if i need to bug out bug out within oregon or washington you know, same type of thing, you know, lots of resources, lots of water, because it rains a lot here, pretty much year round. There's a couple of months, a couple of months, like July and August, that's pretty dry. The rest of the year, it rains a lot. And, I mean, look at this stream. This is clean stream, and there is thousands of them like that around Oregon and Washington. It's clean water. You know, all you need to do is just filter it for good measure, and... You know, boil it perhaps maybe drop some tablets in it and or do both but anyway the water looks clear so that's a good start anyhow uh, so what I'm trying to say is this think about uh, where you were gonna bug out to and think again if that place is not going to be available or will become dangerous not a place where you'd want to bug out. What What's your next move? What are you going to do? Because when something really crazy happens, and I'm being crazy here by using examples like nuclear war, but something really insane and sudden happens, what are you going to do? You need to have plan in place. Because once it happens, it's going to be too late to think about it. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with that. Make plan B and plan C even better. And even though, as I mentioned in my previous video, YouTube is playing, pulling these nasty tricks on me, you know, with, I almost don't get any views now. Still, few of you that are watching, I thank you for watching. And if you are here for the first time, please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you find this video useful please share it and i will see you guys in the next upload stay ready bye bye